the Star Force left Earth 103 days ago on its journey to Iskandar. The planet Balan is the halfway point, but waiting there is General Lysis of Gamelon. Every day, the Earth is being consumed by radiation. It desperately needs the Cosmo DNA from Iskandar. But can the Star Force get there and back in time to save planet Earth? There are only 260 days left. So you like anime? Buy got an anime series for you. It's called Star Blazers. And when I was a kid, my friends and I, we used to rush home to watch it on TV. And I'll tell you all about it if you stay tuned. So did you hear that? For our opening theme today, I used part of the theme song for the show, which in my opinion is the best TV theme song. I mean, the attention-grabbing brass horns. In the same vein as Gilligan's Island, the theme song gives you a setup of the premise of the show. That way, you can tune into any episode, and if you paid a little bit of attention to the theme song, you wouldn't be too lost. So what is the premise of the show? Earth is under attack. In the mid-21st century, the mysterious planet Gamelon, a planet outside our solar system, declared war on all of Earth. An evil race called the Gamelons are bombing the planet. Gamelon's planet bombs has ravaged the surface of the Earth. I cannot bear to see what has become of Earth. Once green and growing with blue lakes and silver streams, great rivers and mighty seas, now all gone. Only day and burning desert left. Radiation has made it impossible for anything to live on the surface, so people are now congregated in underground cities. In the short time we've been on Mars, radioactivity from the planet bombs has seeped deep into Earth. At that rate, in a year, Earth will be unlivable, even underground. What's worse, if the Earthlings can't clean up the planet in just one year, everyone's going to die. You have only one year left before the total extinction of all life on Earth. But all is not lost. Queen Starsha of the distant planet Iskandar wants to save the Earth. She's willing to provide the Earthlings with Cosmo DNA that'll clean up the radiation. When you get here, we will give you the Cosmo DNA. This will remove the radioactivity from Earth and is the only thing that can save you. What's more, she's willing to share plans for an engine called the Wave Motion Engine that will allow people of Earth to travel light years away to pick up the Cosmo DNA from our planet. I have sent you plans for a Wave Motion Engine so you can make the long journey to Iskandar. So the Earth Defense Council secretly builds a spaceship using these plans. And of course, in a nod to Japanese pride, they build the spaceship out of the wreck of the old battleship, Yamada. At one time, the Yamato was a great battleship. It fought nobly into the end. While rust and decay have taken away her once sleek beauty, the legend remains bright. A legend of bravery and sacrifice. Now, just as the ancient ship appears again, a legend will come alive again. A legend and a ship that will save Earth. history, the Yamato was a state-of-the-art battleship that was sunk by the Americans during the Second World War. So the Yamato, which is now renamed the Argo, is ready to set forth with a team of the best and brightest that's left on Earth to face the Gamelons, reach Iskandar, and retrieve the Cosmo DNA. The group of brave young men and one woman set out to save the Earth it's called the Star Force. And each week we have a new episode that shows us the adventure of the Star Force as they risk their lives to save their planet. This is a really great team-up series. You've got Captain Avatar. He's the Elder Statesman. We've just learned a very important and painful lesson. The seasoned warrior who leads the Star Force on its quest to Iskandar. The hero of the show is Derek Wildstar. 
wild stars a brash young pilot. You gamelons are everywhere. You think you own all of space? Who's got a problem with authority? We're behind schedule because we've had to fight the gamelons, and we'll have to fight them on the way back. Or do you think they'll be nice guys and let us get back to Earth without a fight? And to thicken the plot, Captain Avatar was in command when Wildstar's older brother Alex sacrificed himself in order to let an Earth fleet escape a Gamelon attack on the planet Pluto. Captain, Wildstar isn't following us. Wildstar! Can't talk now, Captain. There's a bunch of Gamelons coming at us. Don't worry, I'll get them away from the flagship and I'll see you on Earth. Good luck, Alex Wildstar. You left him behind. He chose to stay. The navigator with a Brooklyn accent happens to be Wildstar's best friend, Mark Venture. Start auxiliary engines. Engine power 100, 200, 300, 600, 1200, 2000, 2500, 2700, 2900, 3000, connect the wave motion engine. They have a science officer who has removable bionic arms. Remember the accident? Because of that, my arms and legs are bionic. Which can double as bombs. Well, the computer is in for a surprise. They're bombs. And the triggering device is set in this arm here. After you leave, I'll set it off with my mouth, and that will be the end of the computer. That's Centaur. You've got a doctor with a sense of humor, Dr. Sane. If I could use some help here, give me a hand. A goofy robot. I am IQ9. I am not a gadget. I am a genius robot. And who is that gentleman with the pig? That's Dr. Sane. He's a little eccentric, about five degrees. And of course, a blonde sexy nurse who just happens to be Wildstar's love interest. Nova. She's the only female in the Argo. It does make you wonder about a group of young men who are going to be stuck together for a year with only one woman. Derek, what's the matter with it? You complain about the food all the time. It's silly. How do you like my dress? I think I'll wear it when we get to Iskandar and I meet Queen Starsha. It's been so long since I've worn a dress. I thought I'd better practice wearing one. <laughs> Hello, cutie. Hi, cutie. Way to go, IQ. Good for you, IQ. And the villains are perfect. They are essentially a caricature of Nazi Germany. The Gamelons are a blue-skinned militaristic order. Captain Scarp from Alpha Battlefield, sir. Captain Ranker from Diamond, sir. Captain Zadig from Eliasite, sir. Captain Borka from Omega, sir. We have an important mission. It will determine if Gamelon is to continue to rule the galaxy. Are you with me? Yes, sir! They're led by a megalomaniac known as Leader Deslock. Officers of Gamelon, I salute you. This is the first day of a new Gamelon era. Who's overconfident in his own abilities. Leader Deslock. A Pluto base on Gamelon has nothing to fear from this old wreck. It's a futile gesture from Earth. They will never get that antiquated wreck to fly. And extremely impatient when his underlings are failures. Now what makes this cartoon so great? Well, when you tune in from week to week, you've got the adventures of these outnumbered, overmatched, desperate heroes who try their best to outwit their opponents. Got away this time. But the Star Force has a secret weapon. Earth scientists have figured out how to take the wave motion engine and harness its power to create a weapon. The wave motion gun. And yeah, this gun is incredibly powerful. It can destroy an entire fleet of Gamelon ships, but they don't overuse it. It's not like you tune in every week and, hey, they just get out of the problem by using the wave motion gun. And that's because there are some drawbacks to the wave motion gun. It draws its energy from the engine, which means that the ship can't move when it's powering up the gun. 
so the ship is vulnerable when it's preparing to use the weapon. It creates some great drama, as we're left wondering, are they going to power up the weapon in time? Energy buildup! Increasing! Countdown 10 seconds before firing. Prepare for recoil shot. Five, four, three, two, one, fire! Are the characters essentially two-dimensional caricatures? Absolutely. Does the show violate the laws of physics? Of course. Was this show going to win any Emmys for writing? No way. But it was wonderful escapism. And unlike a lot of cartoons from my childhood, this wasn't a disappointment when I came back and watched it again. I've rewatched season one numerous times as an adult. It helped me get through my time recovering from my first cancer surgery. It still stands up. It's not like say the 1967 Spider-Man series. I went back and watched that and thought, how did I even like this in the first place? Now there were two other seasons. This is when the Star Force reunited and had to face a new threat to Earth. To be honest, I couldn't get into those seasons. There have also been updated versions of the show. Star Blazers is an incredibly hard series to find. It was available on DVD. And back before Netflix was mostly a streaming service, you could rent the entire first season. You'd receive it by mail, you could return it by now, but it's pretty hard to find the DVDs now, and it doesn't appear on any streaming service. There is one place where it is available. So I say go watch it, give it a chance, and then come back and tell me what you think in the comments below. Let me know if you enjoyed the series when you were a kid, and were you ever able to get the theme song out of your head? I can't. My name is Bill Kovach. I am the creator and primary contributor to the Dantooine Free Press. I'm also fighting cancer. And while I'm getting better, the fight has left me disabled. I'm trained as a lawyer, but I'm going to spare you the gross details of why it's not a good idea for me to go into court. Even with decent health insurance, I have tremendous medical bills. If you feel generous enough to make a small one-time donation, you can do so through PayPal. I'll have instructions in the description below. A non-tax-deductible donation will go to a special needs trust set up for my benefit that will help pay my expenses. Thank you for watching. Please consider subscribing to our channel and give us a like. Let us know in the comments below what topics you would like to see in the future. And hit that bell button if you would like to receive notification of whenever we release a new video. Keep peace alive with our stars.